center of Canada and the weather is not cooperating it's not cooperating at all just changed and it wants to rain I don't know why the weather is not cooperating I hope um, that by the time I get there the weather will cooperate a little bit so that I can show you the center of Canada there is nothing fantastic about the place it's just they just put something there to show okay this is the center of Canada the longitudinal abbey whatever they call it anyway when we get there you will see the place but like I said the weather is not cooperating so please bear with me I will just stop there briefly and you see the center of Canada okay bye But we are at the center of Canada. Yeah, so you can see this. It's the center of Canada. The weather is not cooperating. It's raining. And yeah, so just bear with me. <laughs> it's raining. But I have to like come here because I already planned coming here. When I was coming, it was sunny. And then all of a sudden the weather just switched off on me so welcome to the center of Canada yay the center of Canada is in Manitoba the center of Canada is in Manitoba so welcome to the center of Canada <laughs> ah, this is my sister <laughs> okay so yeah so I just have to go back into the car because the weather is not cooperating at all um yeah so this is how it is in manitoba hi guys so we just saw the center of canada and the weather just switched off on me and um it's really fun anyway one thing i enjoy about um living in canada is actually traveling during summer during summer periods there are a lot of people who travel a lot of people travel do campaign um, just generally travel just to see different places in Canada and Canada is so big like the land mass is very massive very very massive and the roads are very smooth people travel a lot so I enjoy road trips but taking flights from one part of Canada to another is very 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 expensive like extremely expensive that doesn't make any sense buying flight tickets for like $300, $400 just to travel from Manitoba to Toronto. It's not expensive, but there are cheaper airlines anyway. You have cheaper airlines like Flair Airlines, Swoop, and um, one other airline, I can't remember the name again, but these airlines I just mentioned, I'll leave the links on the description box. They are very cheap, but the disadvantage of this um, kind of cheap airlines is that you have to pay for your luggage so if you're traveling you're entitled to only one free luggage and then the other ones you have to pay you have to pay for it you have to pay for your seating and all that but they are cheaper compared to the um, bigger airlines like um, Air Canada and WestJet so what most people actually do instead of buying flight tickets they just you know travel using their vehicles travel on the road because the roads are smooth you don't have you don't you don't really have bad bad potholes on the road and people travel as far as 15 hours 20 hours 25 hours on the road so do this is the period where people travel a lot during summer but with COVID-19 some states have actually restricted entrance into their provinces um, only few provinces have allowed entrance like Manitoba has allowed people coming from Ontario people coming from BC Saskatchewan to come into their province without self-isolating 
Um, some other provinces like New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island, they've done serious restriction and not allowed, they are not allowed anybody to enter their province because of COVID-19. So whatever is happening in Africa is also happening here in Canada as well with road travel restrictions. It was just a short trip I made today to one of the rural communities. I would have shown you the rural community, but uh, by the time I decided to make the video, it was already too late. I had already left. But hopefully one of these days, I'll take a trip to most of these rural communities so that you can see how the rural communities look like. And if you are interested in living in any of these rural communities, um, of course, you know that the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot is ongoing. You have to look at each pilot and see which one is suitable because most of them are actually advertising job offers. But due to COVID-19, um, some of them have actually paused those job offers for people outside Canada and are focusing on people in Canada to take those jobs. And in a situation where people in Canada cannot take those jobs, of course, they will allow it for people outside Canada to take those jobs. So this is what I enjoy about Canada, road trips. I love traveling a lot. Like I love just exploring and traveling. So maybe you will travel with me a lot this year, hopefully. I started traveling at the beginning of this year, I went to Edmonton and then COVID happened. I had to stop. But now that um, some restrictions are being removed gradually, I hope to resume traveling. So for now, I am still traveling within Manitoba. <laughs> Okay, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.